What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RP series and in this episode we will add some sounds into our AI animals so they are, you know, feeling a bit more alive. It's gonna be very easy to follow so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is import the two sounds, one for the elephant and one for the hippo. And then we can reuse the player sand footsteps for them and just make them a bit louder. So let's go into our audio folder, which should be over here. Let's right click, create a new folder and just call this animals. So as you know, we have more animals in the future, we can just drag them here. So let's select our elephant and hippo sounds, drag them there. And then we have them here. They just sound like this. Hippo sound. Okay, nothing crazy. So what I need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and find my uh, footstep, get the sand footstep uh, meta sound, drag it into the animals folder and say copy here. And then rename this to be MS. In this case, it will be um, something as is elephant. And basically you're gonna change randomly the tip, the pitch, but because we already have done it, I can just plug in the elephant. So each time that we play, it will play a bit different. That was very, very loud, actually. <laughs> Let's go into source and put the volume back into maybe two, so it feels powerful, but there's no need for, you know, more than that. <laughs> okay, so now let's duplicate this and rename it to hippo. And now we can open this up and put in our hippo sound. And there we go. And that will be a bit different each time. Great, so with that said, each time that they attack and also randomly, we're gonna be playing that. So let's go into the content folder, go into blueprints, animals, and let's open up the parent, the BP animals. So all the logic will be applied into all the child animals. And on here, what we need to do is basically create a new uh, variable that will play that sound. But first of all, let's actually make the uh, play sound and it will be kind of here where it's gonna attack. Okay, so when it starts playing the animation, play sound at location. And we can plug in, right click, promote new variable, the, uh, you know, animal sound, right? This animal sound will have the eye on, so it'll be instance editable and exposed on spawn, so we can access it from outside, and then the location will just be get actor location, like we have done a million times. And just to be sure, let's go ahead and add the attenuation settings on here to be on the SA character, so it will be, you know, in 3D. With that said, I'm gonna copy and paste this on the begin play with a delay of, uh, of a random float, okay? So each, um, each, you know, couple of seconds will basically play that. So let's reconnect that there, right? So we'll be in a loop. So it will just wait some seconds and then uh, play. So let's do a random uh, float in range and we'll wait between uh, 7 to 20 seconds, right? So each 7 and 20 seconds, it will play a random sound, okay? And maybe we can lower a bit the volume to 0.7, so it's a bit lower, and then when it attacks, it's a bit louder. With that said, we just need to go to the BP Elephant, and we can open it in full blueprint, go to class defaults, and assign the variable. In this case, we just need to search the MS underscore, uh, this is the elephant, okay? Remember to add the MS, the meta sound, not the original sound, so we can have the dynamic pitch. And then the animal hippo, we can directly do it from here, as you can see, or just open a full blueprint, and it's the same. Class defaults into our animal sound variable, search for hippo, and then just put the MS, okay? With that said, now you will see that when I press play, and they attack, they play the sound. <laughs> and then it's with fun. So for the hippo, it seems that I need to uh, increase a bit the audio. So let me go to animals, hippo, source, and then let's put this maybe on uh, two, sorry, 3.5, something like that. And it will be louder. The elephant, it was pretty okay. All right, so now with that said, let's add the footstep sounds. In this case, let's use the same one, okay, as we're using it right now for the uh, player, but of course, um, louder. So let's go into the animals uh, asset pack folder, go to elephant animations and here, which we'll search for the walk. There we go. 
the elephant walk, just the normal one. You can see this the one that is compiled with the black, uh, you know, border. Uh, basically, that's the one that we're using. So let's open this up, and like we always do, we just need to add our uh, footsteps there in the uh, uh, as an anonym notify. So when the first point touches, we can just add a play sound notify, and this can just be a uh, footstep, and it will be the sand footstep because we're gonna be playing in the desert, and we can put two and it will kind of play um and let's go ahead and just put this over here so first of all i'm doing the um the the feet at the beginning right and now let's do the ones at the back so as you can see on here we do one let's place that and then on here we do another one that should be good now we might need to change a bit the attenuation so let's play with this so you can see you cannot really hear it so we will need to create a higher attenuation the attenuation is a 3d space so it has to be going further away so let's go to the audio folder go into first steps and we can use uh, sorry, into the main is duplicate character and change to be well animal, right? Because they will go more further away. The inner radius will stay at 100, but the fall of distance, which is how far away the sound can go in the 3D space, let's crank this up into 3K, right? 3000. So we can really hear them uh, from further away. And then, you know, just for that, let me just duplicate the MS Sand footstep and just name it MS sand footstep animal right and inside of the animal let's go to source and change the attenuation to be the animal and with that said we can also increase by default bit of the volume maybe 10 right i don't know that's too much but, but that's okay um and then we just need to go back to our uh, elephant animation right for a walk and just replace the first steps can i select multiple ones no well it's okay Yes, with the new animal one, right? As you can see, so basically just select the new animal one over here, right? And that should be it. Uh, I think I did it with all of them. Yes, okay. And now that's that should be a bit better, okay? You can hear it a bit more further away. And you have the headphones, it will be a bit more realistic. And then let's do the same with the hippo, but of course we need to go into its uh, appropriate uh, fold. There we go, animations, walk is this one okay and we'll do exactly the same that we do for the elephant so as a challenge go ahead and add the footsteps with the new notifies okay and just pause the video and we'll do this in a second okay so what i need to do is go and just find where the feet touches the ground okay so for example let's begin with the points at the uh the uh you know forward part of the uh, uh you know of the torso i guess we could say and then right now that there is a landing one so let's add the notify or play sound and let's just name this uh, the animal, uh, sorry, the first step. Um, wait, how did I call it? Oh, MS Elephant, MS, oh, right. Uh, yeah, sand, first step animal. Okay, I don't know why it didn't come up with first step. Okay, uh, let's copy it, go further. And there it touches again, the forward one. And that the ones with the back, let's see. Here it touches. And here it touches. Okay, there we go. With that said, we should be ready to go. We have all of the things done. Now, maybe I think that 3000 is a bit too much. So let's go back to audio, go to uh, animal. And in the max, let's put like 2.3k. Uh, uh, right? I think that that's a bit better. Oh my god, 23,000. No, 2,300. There we go. Uh, that's a bit better, I think. Um, so now that should be it for the first steps in audio, which should look a bit cooler. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful or really appreciate it, you can like the video and subscribe to my channel. For you, remember that the project files are available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so check that out. Uh, check out my new course with Game Dev TV on Unreal Engine 5. Link in the description. Uh, I have a lot of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials and videos, so check them out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now just yes, follow us. Bye bye.